from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. The festival of Makasakranti, a joyous harvest festival swept across India with Hindus taking holy dips, flying kites, feasting and lighting bonfires while celebrating it as Lori, Pongal or Bhogi depending on the region. Marking the end of winter and welcoming spring, it celebrated the sun's shift into Capricorn and the start of Uttarayan. While traditions vary across states, the spirit of joy and new beginnings united all in this vibrant celebrations. Let's have a look. The multifaceted country of India is enriched with diverse culture, age-old traditions and vibrant folk tales holding historical significance. Recently, Hindus across India celebrated the harvest festival of Makar Sankranti by taking dips in holy rivers and offering prayers. This joyous festival was observed with cultural diversity featuring traditions like kite flying, bonfires and delightful feasts across India. While some commemorated the festival by devouring dahi chura, jaggery and til, others celebrated with their loved ones by lightning bonfires which is called lori, pongal and bogi as per their traditional beliefs. Makar Sankranti is one of the most auspicious festivals of Hindus which is celebrated to mark the end of winter and to welcome the season of spring. As per Hindu astrology, the transition of the sun from the Sagittarius to Capricorn zodiac during the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere is known as Makar Sankranti. From this day begins the six months long Uttarayan, the sun's journey in the northern hemisphere. The festival is celebrated in different states with their own cultural twists and variations, but the enthusiasm and fervor remains the same. बहुत ही अच्छा लग रहा है इस पावन पर्व पे गंगा जी में नहा के और एक मन को अद्भुत शक्ति मिल रही है। And this is the first time here in India for this beautiful kite festival. This is exceptional kite festival. The country also witnessed festive fervor among the Punjabi community across Indian states, celebrating Lohri while marking the end of winter. The festival was celebrating by lighting bonfires and praying to God while making rounds around the fire. Furthermore, people distributed sweets like gachak, til and gur and danced to Punjabi folk songs. मोस्टली मीठी चीज ज्यादा प्रेफर रखते हैं गुड़ से बनी हुई चीज होती है खीर बनाते हैं रेवड़ी होती है गुड़ के तेल होता है मूंगफली होती है सर्दी में लोड़ी इसीलिए भी है कि लकड़ी जला के सब एक गैदरिंग हो जाती है क्योंकि ठंड बहुत होती है पंजाब में आज के दिन वैसे तो पूरे इंडिया में ही होती है तो सब लोग एक साथ मिल जाते हैं विद दैट रेसिडेंट्स इन इंडिया सदर्न स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु सेलिब्रेटेड द हार्वेस्ट फेस्टिवल ऑफ पोंगल विद सॉन्ग dance and the traditional bull taming sport of Jalikattu. Pongal also marks the commencement of the sun's six-month journey towards the north. Jalikattu, which is an Indian version of the Spanish sport, doesn't aim to kill the bulls but to dominate and tame them and pluck away bundles of money or other treats tied to their specially sharpened horns. We are all assembled here to celebrate the traditional Pongal, which is the thanksgiving for sun and the uh, harvest of uh, our agriculturalists, farmers and everyone. And here we have assembled in spite of many languages and many caste, religion, everything. It is apart from that we have united to celebrate and the function is going on very well. Meanwhile, the Telugu community in India marked the harvest of Bogi by following the tradition of lighting a bonfire and praying to God. The festival is observed with the exchange of gifts among elders and younger ones as a symbol of thanksgiving. 
early morning at 5.30 we woke up and had this fire, bogey fire here. We are all assembled here. And bogey means that it takes all evils from our, uh, from our minds and also from our street also. Festivals like these bring true joy to the lives of people by connecting them with their family and loved ones. Moving on, the temple town of Ayodhya is all decked out for the most awaited Ram Mandir consecration ceremony as the town shimmers with infrastructural facelift. With that, India unveils countless stories where Hindus and Muslims are working together for the upcoming historic event which serves as a testament to the communal harmony and unification of the countries that share faith in Lord Ram. Let's have a look. The temple town of Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh has long been a common pilgrimage destination for devout from different religious groups. While today, as the consecration ceremony of the Grand Ram Mandir complex finalizes for the historic event, Ayodhya is all set to become one of the major pilgrimage sites in India, bringing communities under one roof. The temple town is buzzing with life as the preparation work accelerates ahead of this sacred ceremony on the 22nd of January this year. Keeping the spirit, artisans across the Indian states are also working together, transcending religious divides for the success of this timeless event. With that, India unfolds countless stories of people from across the country and outside, empowering the testament to national integration and communal harmony. As in an instance, we see a Muslim family in Uttar Pradesh's Amroha working round the clock to create caps while labeling them with Jai Shri Ram for the Grand Ayodhya Ram Mandir ceremony. Wasim says that he is taking forward the legacy of his forefathers who initially used to craft the religious caps and towels for temples, upholding Hindu-Muslim unity. In Ayodhya, there is a program in Delhi Sadar Bajar. We have a little bit of money, we have a little bit of money, we have a little bit of डेली जाती ऑर्डर तो अभी आ रही है और जा रही है हमारे इसका तो कोई भरोसा नहीं कितनी तो बीस एक हजार तो भी जा चुकी समझे तो क्या इसमें आप लोगों को क्या-क्या बनाने के लिए बोला गया है बाहर हमें तो इसमें तो भी बनाते हैं हम तो होली की बनाते हैं लक्षण मटेरियल बनाते हैं या ये भी जो है Ram is for everyone, proving this notion right in an another instance, the vibrant city of Agra witnesses Hindus and Muslims working together in meticulously crafting the anklet of the most revered Ram and Sita intricately ahead of the consecration ceremony. For the past many days, these artisans without any discrimination are crafting the jewellery piece for the ceremony, keeping in mind the religious sentiments of the devotees. ये सीता राम जी के लिए पायल तैयार की जा रही है इसके अंदर हिंदू भाई और अपने मुस्लिम भाई दोनों ने मिलके हम लोग इस पायल को तैयार कर रहे हैं लगभग काफी टाइम हो गया इस पायल को पंद्रह दिन से लगभग पंद्रह दिन हो गए तैयार करते करते इसे इसमें खासियत ये है कि पायल के अंदर खूब नग वगैरह काम दिया पत्थर के नग लगाए कलर वगैरह मीने का और मोर वाला कशनी लगाया जो सीता राम जी को पसंद है इस मोर पसंद है इस बार मोर वाला काशनी लगाया धूम के एक सिंगल पीस ये मिला था इसलिए मोर वाला और साइडों में चक्कर वाला ये काशनी लगाया जो घूमते हैं ये पायल काफी सोच समझकर बनाई है जिसमें कि हमारे ये मयूर है राम जी को और सीता सीता माता जी को बहुत पसंद था इसलिए ये हमने मयूर लगाया है और साइडों में हमने ये दो चक्कर दिए हैं बहुत ही बारीकी से और इसके अंदर नक का काम हाईलाइट का काम ज्यादा किया गया है Furthermore, the Ayodhya's Grand Ram Mandir consecration ceremony acts as an anchor to nation's unification as many countries like Nepal, as a part of ceremonial ritual, presented gifts to India. Nepal as a neighbouring country not just shares boundaries with India but is also connected to India through the common thread of culture and history. <laughs> हमारे जनकपुर का जो प्रथा है वो सब आया हुआ है है ना और कपड़ा वस्त्र ये सब चीज अपने अपने सभी जितने भी जनकपुर वासी है अपने अपने घर से अपने हाथों से पकवान बना के यहाँ लाए हुए हैं 
इक्कीस क्या बोलते हैं चंगेला भार इक्कीस भार हम लोग लेके आए हुए हैं तीन ट्रक से है ना और हम लोग जनकपुर से आए हुए हैं यहाँ एक सौ बत्तीस गाड़ी आया है As the auspicious event nears, the town of Ayodhya buckles up itself with almost all the arrangements ready, sending invitation cards to all the dignitaries, which also follows the invitation to around 4,000 saints. The invitation card features presence of the dignitaries, itinerary for the day, followed by mentions about the struggle behind Ram Mandir. Apparently, the most awaited Ram Mandir ceremony also serves as a medium to maintain harmony among communities while bringing countries like Nepal, Sri Lanka and Indonesia which are directly or indirectly connected to Lord Ram. And now, some of the stories that made news recently. Devotees in India's northern Ayodhya town have begun Ram Utsav celebration ahead of the grand consecration ceremony of the newly erected Ram Temple. The town was packed with devotees placing earthen lamps on Saryu River bank, decorating streets with colorful murals, burning huge incense stick amid increased security presence. On January 22, Prime Minister Modi will pray for the first time before an idol of Lord Ram at the project, which cost more than 20 billion rupees and where more than 4,500 workers are labouring round the clock to complete the ground floor. Modi's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party has long pledged completion of the temple as one of its core aims. India and Japan Coast Guards held a joint exercise off the southern Chennai coast to showcase interoperability. The five-day exercise is a part of a memorandum of cooperation signed between the countries in 2006, wherein both pledged to promote interactions between the coast guards. Japan's Coast Guard ship Yahima arrived in Chennai and received a traditional welcome from the Indian Coast Guard. During the exercise the coast guards conducted drills to rescue people in case of fire mishap or oil spill. The Indian Coast Guard deployed 9 ships and 6 aircraft for the drills. Japan, India, Australia and the United States are members of the Quad group of countries holding annual naval exercises across the Indo-Pacific region to demonstrate interoperability. And now we bring you a special report on the unprecedented growth in the fast moving consumer goods or the FMCG sector in India. Over the past few years this sector has witnessed a remarkable surge playing a pivotal role in the country's economic landscape. A report. The fast moving consumer goods or the FMCG sector in India has become a powerhouse of growth contributing significantly to the nation's GDP. FMCG includes a wide range of products such as packaged food items, beverages, toiletries, household goods and other consumables. The remarkable expansion of this sector is being driven by changing consumer behavior in the country. The rising middle class, increased disposable income and changing lifestyle preferences have fueled the demand for a wide array of consumer goods. With the changing times, digitalization and e-commerce have also played a crucial role in this growth. The ease of online shopping and the availability of a diverse range of products have connected manufacturers directly with consumers, opening up new avenues for growth. The FMCG companies have also been quick to adapt to changing consumer preferences. They are introducing innovative products focusing on sustainability and embracing digital marketing strategies to stay ahead in the competitive market FMCG sector hamare time mein jab hum apna career chalu kiya tha aur ab mein this is a sea change uh, it used to be bilkul ek conventional way out hota tha consumer ke paas pahunchne ka aaj uh, consumer ke paas direct pahunchne ke kai tarike hain आज हम सोशल मीडिया के एरा में हैं हम 
डायरेक्ट कंज्यूमर के पास पहुंच के यू नो कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर कंजम्पन पैटर्न कई चीज़ें हैं वो जिससे हम पहुंच सकते हैं आज हम आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस के एरिना में हैं लार्ज डेटाबेस के एरिना में हैं पहले और अब में आई थिंक देर इज ए सी चेंज हाउ एवर विद ग्रोथ कम्स चैलेंजेस the fmcg sector faces hurdles such as supply chain disruptions rising raw material costs and increasing competition let's hear from industry insiders on how indian companies are navigating these challenges and competing with international brands and in some cases doing even better ki aaj se दो दशक पहले ये सब बातें होती थी कि जब हम ये कहते थे कि अगर बाहर का कोई प्रोडक्ट है तो उसकी क्वालिटी बहुत अच्छी है लेकिन आज आपको खुद भी महसूस होता होगा भारत देश के अंदर भी इतनी सारी कंपनियां हैं जिनकी टेक्नोलॉजी एट पार विद दूसरे आउटसाइड कंट्रीज़ के जो भी टेक्नोलॉजी हैं उसी के बराबर है या कई कई जगह पर उससे अच्छी भी है अगर हम अपने प्रोडक्ट्स की तुलना करते हैं प्रोसेसेस इतने स्ट्रांग हो चुके हैं भारत देश के अंदर भी जहाँ पर वो प्रोसेसेस के द्वारा जो प्रोडक्ट आते हैं उनकी क्वालिटी हमेशा यूनिफॉर्म रहती है और वो इंडिजिनस प्रोडक्ट ऑलवेज कम्पेटेबल विद एक्सटर्नल प्रोडक्ट्स के हैं आप अगर ये फ़र्क नहीं कर पाओगे कई बार कि ये बाहर से बना है या यहाँ हमारे भारत देश में बना है क्योंकि हमारे प्रोडक्ट्स भी आज के दिन उतने ही बराबरी में खड़े हुए हैं The Indian government's push for Make in India has also promoted manufacturing of FMCG products in the country. The initiative has given a boost to economic growth, created employment opportunities and enhanced the country's global competitiveness. Make in India as a concept conceived ho chuka hai. Logo ko samajh aa chuka hai feel good factors ka hona chalu ho gaya hai. Kai industry ne iska benefit bhi lena chalu kar diya hai. मेक इन इंडिया में अगर आप देखें तो आज कितने प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव अनाउंस हो चुके हैं देश को अगर आप निर्भर बनाना है तो उसके लिए मैनुफैक्चरिंग हब इंडिया का ग्लोबल मैनुफैक्चरिंग हब होना बहुत ज़रूरी है और उसके लिए एक जो फेज़ वन में एक जो आइडिया है उस आइडियो को आज की डेट में कंसीव और आज की डेट में जो युवा है वो इस चीज़ को समझ रहा है और उसका कंट्रीब्यूशन सराहनीय है वो जिस तरीके से मेक इन इंडिया प्रोडक्ट्स को आगे प्रमोट कर रहा है चाहे वो स्टार्टअप के थ्रू हो चाहे उनके अपने आइडियाज़ हो जब किसी चीज़ की हम कंपैरिजन करते हैं तो पहला काम है कि हमारे पास जो वर्कफोर्स है वो क्या उतनी सक्षम है आज के दिन मैं दावे के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि वो उतनी ही सक्षम है जितने बाहर के और कई जगहों पर हमारा अच्छा है ऐसी ही टेक्नोलॉजी की अगर आप बात करते हो तो टेक्नोलॉजी भी आज के दिन इंडिया की टेक्नोलॉजी तो आप सुन ही रहे हैं कि काफ़ी जो है इसके बारे में बोला जाता है और हमारी कंट्री इस चीज़ में काफ़ी आगे तेज़ी से बढ़ने लग रही है तो उसका कोई कंपैरिजन है तीसरा है एनवायरनमेंट एनवायरनमेंट आज के दिन अगर देखोगे तो गवर्नमेंट ने भी आप देखोगे बड़ा ही प्रो होके इसके ऊपर काम किया है जहाँ पर हम इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन को और आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं और हमारी कंपनीज और ज़्यादा वर्ल्ड लेवल के ऊपर आ सकती हैं तो आई थिंक तीनों ही चीज़ें सक्षम हैं और ये बड़ा ही अच्छा समय है जहाँ पर पूरी कंट्री एज ए होल इज इम्प्रूविंग अलॉट ड्यूरिंग एन इवेंट इन न्यू डेली पीयूष गोयल द मिनिस्टर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री थ्रू अ लाइट ऑन दी एफ सेक्टर एंड ओपाइंड ऑन हाउ द इंडियन डोमेस्टिक मैनुफैक्चरिंग कैन बी रिवाइव एट स्केल with high quality products at competitive prices we in government are working to introduce quality standards in a much bigger way uh, we have now almost four times the number of quality control orders implemented in the last few years than what we had uh, 10 years ago and in the next two or three years we hope to significantly ramp up many many more products on which we'll have reasonably strict but practical quality standards which will be made compulsory so that indian manufacturing is able to stand and uh, against this kind of irrational competition increase the scale of production become more competitive and coupled with our significant investments In conclusion the FMCG sector in India is experiencing robust growth driven by changing consumer dynamics digitalization and innovation while challenges persist the industry is resilient and adaptive the future looks promising 
as FMCG companies continue to evolve in response to the ever-changing market landscape. And now, some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. The Japan External Trade Organization organized overseas buyers tour for seafood to Fukushima and San Riku. The specialty of seafood found in this region is unique as warm and cold currents in the sea converge. Buyers from the USA, Canada and Singapore took part in the event. そして山から来るミネラル分が海に流れ込んで、養殖も非常に盛んでございます。海外からバイヤーの方を及びして漁場を見てもらい、市場も見てもらって、魚を味わって、ぜひご自分の国に持ち帰っていただくというふうなことで
दी सबरी माला श्रीधर मा सस्त टेम्पल नेसल अमेट्स दी वर्ड एंड हिल्स ऑफ केरला इज अ ग्लोइंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ केरलाज एंशंट हेरिटेज दी टेम्पल इज डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड अयप्पन हु इज कंसिडर्ड दी सन ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा एंड मोहिनी एंड इज अ रेवर्ड साइट फॉर हिंदू डेविटीज Moreover the temple's architectural style captivating location and spiritual significance draws countless devotees every year Recently on the occasion of Makar Sankranti thousands of devotees from the river side to celebrate Makara Vilakku and to get a glimpse of Makara Jyoti This is my first year I coming to uh, Sabri Malai Yatra. So uh, just now, uh, uh, three days, four days back, I I I we follow the road is uh, uh, Irumeli. Irumeli. Uh, actually, the road is uh, tough, but I don't feel that because I follow the the fast thing. I follow the the uh, the ayapan, uh, the follow the the prayers, everything. So I don't feel tough. And then uh, once I reach here, I feel uh, feel uh, very blessed uh, because uh, I I I saw ayapan. Here, uh, just now I saw the Neya Bishagam everything. Today is a uh, Magra Jodi, so uh, I'm waiting to uh, see the Magra Jodi. Uh, I, I will wait here. I will wait here. I will see the Ayupan Magra Jodi. My groups uh, came from Malaysia. It's a uh, hundred, a uh, hundred and hundred and one people here. Beyond religious significance, the temple also holds immense cultural importance as the devotees carry offerings on their heads as part of the pilgrimage rituals like the Irumudi Ketu which showcases Kerala's rich heritage. The temple opens for worship only during the days of Mandala Puja, Makar Sankranti and Maha Thirumal Sankranti and the first 5 days of each Malayalam month. This year the River Temple of Sabri Mala witnessed an unexpected number of devotees from India and across the world for which the government intervened to aid the temple with basic necessities. We have made elaborate arrangements and uh, we have faced some problems initially uh, regarding the huge rush of pilgrims due to some uh, minor reasons and we have uh, uh, made the solutions for that. Uh, uh, we have ensured adequate uh, water supply and different locations and, uh, and for the welfare of the uh, people uh, we have arranged the transport buses sabri mala temple is a powerful symbol of faith and devotion for hindus around the world while occasions like these attract millions to delve into the tapestry of india's rich cultural heritage that's all we have for you this week i'm your host pratiksha mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team